Good morning. Welcome back to Bright Side here on uh, 10 Tampa Bay. Hurricane headquarter time now. Let's check in on the tropics. We've got a couple of systems that we're watching, uh, one of which is starting to show a little bit more organization. That's this Invest 95L in the Central Caribbean. Also, Hurricane Epsilon now moving northeast of Bermuda. We'll get back to 95L. It's a little closer to home, so I want to end with that. But Hurricane Epsilon becoming less and less of a concern, especially for Bermuda and obviously for us as well. It continues to the north. It'll weaken slightly as it tracks to the north and east. Uh, it'll bring the Canadian Maritime some, some rough surf and some breezy conditions, but obviously uh, less and less of a concern as it moves into the North Atlantic. A little bit closer to home now, just west of Jamaica, we have this trough of low pressure. It's a, it's a tropical wave that's moving into an area of broad circulation, so we're starting to see the potential for some development. In fact, the models have been, haven't been doing a good job of picking up on the development of this system. This morning, if you look just over the last few frames of this loop, you'll see just a little bit more of a, a burst of those thunderstorms. The upper level clockwise flow around the center of that trough of low pressure starts to look a little bit more impressive. So we'll have to watch this closely as we go through the weekend. Most of the forecast models keep it south of us and then track it up over the Bahamas into the Atlantic. But if it does get a name, it would be named Zeta. We'll keep you posted.